أكبر الله. When we say circles of relation, you have the innermost circle, and then you have a slightly bigger circle or a circle that is made up of people who are not as close, and thereafter those who are not even as close as those, and thereafter just acquaintances. The reason we say circles is. There are some people who are so close that we can share much more with them, whereas others we need to hold them at an arm's length with respect, with love, with care. Love for our deen, for our religion, for our maker, for, for the entire uh, community at large. But that love should be based on our understanding of what love is. It does not mean that you love someone so you drop all barriers and you let them have whatever they need and want. No. We need to realize that certain people are within a closed circle. There are others whom we might not trust that much. We might not have tested that trust yet. We might not know exactly where they are standing. And for that reason, we won't share so much information. We won't enjoy such intimate relation with them and so on because of their distance with us. Also, what is very important is as friends, the Quran says, the close friends, we normally use the term bosom buddies, those who are very close. We find the Quran says they will be enemies on the day of judgment, except for those who used to be conscious of their maker. The reason the Quran says this is because they will, there are so many people who are close to each other. But that friendship has not led them to become closer to their maker. And for this reason, on the day of resurrection, they will say, I wish that I had had such and such a person as a friend rather than this one. Or I wish I did not have this particular person as a friend of mine because they led me astray. They took me away from the worship of the maker. They took me away from goodness and they took me to that which was evil. And for this reason, they have resulted in my destruction today. And this is why I wish and I hope and I wish that I didn't have these people as my friends. Now what we need to learn is when a person's friendship has not drawn uh, the, both of them to closer to the Almighty, they are at loss. Those whom we've allowed to be friends. If they are making a mistake, it is our duty to tell them that you are going wrong here. And if we don't tell them, we are going to be making an even bigger mistake. We are going to be responsible on the day of judgment. The Almighty is going to ask us, I made you a friend of so and so. Why did you not remind them of their duty towards me? You saw them going wrong and you'd never ever batted an eyelid. You never ever told them that what you are doing is wrong. What you are saying is wrong. Now, what we need to learn as well from this is never feel bad when you are corrected. Because sometimes when a person is corrected, if he or she feels bad, nobody's going to correct them in the future.